Silver Sands, take three. Hi there, we're back out at Silver Sands and it's a, a nice day but it's a bit windy so I'm recording the sound on a separate unit. I'm using my iPhone which is just here just to catch better sound quality although I have got on my Canon SX20 which I'm filming this I've got little wind baffles that I've made myself you can check it out on my page down here I've left a link that shows you how to make them so we're here in Silver Sands I've brought the Technetics T2 I've got the little 5 inch coil on because my other standard coil is a bit suspect I think the cables maybe got a problem with it the little 5 inch coil it costs about £105 I think I saw it on John Allen website for £105 it's great for getting in trashy areas and just in through shrubbery and high weeds it's just nice to get through I've used it before just the other day on the bottle dump so we're using that today getting the Wellingtons on and we're going to go down to this end of the beach I was here about a fortnight ago and a gentleman told me that someone actually found a hoard in the woods up here maybe about 10 years, 15 years ago so it just more information lets you know what's here I've found quite a bit, found a gold ring found some really interesting coins so let's go out into the wind and the wet and join me in this hunt There we go, first hit of the day. There's a little 5p. This was a very scratchy signal at 60, 65. I wasn't going to dig it, but as you can see, it's popped up a little coin. 2p, I think, yeah. It's a 2p. That's okay, that'll do. We're only at 10 minutes, we've got a 5p and a 2p, so. Can only be pleased with that so we'll carry on and see what else we can find i've got a signal here on the surface so i'll try and do a live dig and i'm going to have to go and change my hat because this wind is too strong so i my hat off so let's see what's in here i don't like stopping and starting but that's to be done let's see if it's there A big shovel. I hope the wind isn't too bad for you. Let's see if we've got it. Yeah, that's a huge signal in there. I should have really checked it, but we'll get it out and we'll have a look. And it was just a big chunk of iron. Nothing spectacular. Let's see if it's got anything inside it. It is spectacular. Like we always do. Probably part of an old ship. It's a big wedge. I love how they come out though. Seems to get preserved in the in the sand. Okay, we'll carry on. I'll go and change my hat. I'm gonna to have to wear a I'm gonna to have to wear a baseball cap in this weather. Shotgun cartridge. Just under this little rock. There's a wee starfish. Too much. 
Well, it's school time for the kiddies. They're all enjoying the beach. And I've just found this, just lying in the sand. Somebody's lost that. I've been out walking their dog. I'll keep it with me. Might come in handy for something. And our next find is a lovely ring pool. Hip hip hooray! A lovely ring pool. And just next to the ring pool, another hole. And we find the bottom of the can. Hurrah! All we need now is the top and the sides. I was just uh, detecting a log here. And I just kept it lost. You can see it on the ground there. Just in front of the tank. I haven't looked at it yet. Let's see what it is. Looks like copper or something. Angle. It's nice and heavy. We'll put that in the pouch. Keep it. Just got another one of those big crusty things in the ground. So we'll crack it open together. Oh, it's got a spike on it. Do you think that's a dinosaur's tooth or something? That's amazing, that. I just love the way they come out. I totally love it. It's like a dinosaur's tooth. Absolutely amazing. We've got another signal at last in the hill over here. It's been just one of those crazy days, not a lot coming up. The small five inch coil, it goes a bit deeper, I think, and that's good or bad, I don't know, but we've got a wee signal in here, I dug it out, and I think it's something interesting. Oh, it's an old penny. Yeah, it's something interesting. like, oh it's a Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth old penny, well it's not too bad, it's got a good age to it, 1967 I think, yeah I think it's a 1967, I'll get a wee clean and let you see it, but I have found this, it gave me a, a kind of tin can signal, but I popped it out anyway and it's just in there and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's silver. So we'll take it out together. And it is, it's an old, it's an old uh, shilling, Queen Elizabeth. It's not silver, but it's still a nice find. It's not bad, I haven't had anything for a while so. That's 1960. So that's alright, we'll keep going. This wind is really playing havoc. Beside this big log, which I think is quite important, these big logs. I keep finding them coming up in the shifting sand. But, you know, I'll investigate it and let you know later. But I haven't seen the other ones I found the last time I was on the sands. As I say, I don't see them very often on here and they seem to have came up through the sand but we'll see I came down here to get out of the wind because it's too windy around the other side this is me on the peninsula and it's, it's turning out not a bad day it's probably because I'm out of the wind so let's see what's in the finds bag we had that Oops, the, the dog lead. My chocolate biscuit wrapper. Get a good dump out. See what we have. A little coinage. Okay, so here we have it. We've got a big bit of copper pipe. 
some hot rocks. Seem to be a ring pool day today, unfortunately. Some wee bits of copper pipe. That uh, fishing weight. Wee bit of copper something. Don't know what that is. I'll have a wee look when I get home. The 5P, that was the first thing up this morning. Bottle top, hot rock, bit of brass, more ring pulls, shotgun cartridge, yeah, covered in stuff. That bangle thing, don't know what it is. MD's any ideas? Leave a comment, it would be much appreciated. Looks how it fixes at one end, but it's very fragile. We rivet, screws in at the end. The old uh, Queen Elizabeth 5P. Nineteen sixty. We've got the old Queen Elizabeth Penny, which. It's well worn. Not much on it. And the 2P, Queen Elizabeth again. I found that wee truck in the sand, but my battery ran out of my phone. Nice wee truck. The obligatory bottle stop. I think it's a Henry's. No, it's a... Jazz Dunbar, Edinburgh and just little bits and balls. We've got that spoon as well next to where we found the truck. So not a bad wee day. I quite enjoyed it. Oh and of course we got the big steel pin. These are just crazy. I got another one as well. But how they survive I don't know. It must be the mud. So yeah, that was not a bad day. Anyway, thanks very much for joining me on this hunt. I quite enjoyed it. It was a bit windy though, and the little coil is certainly a lot different than the main coil for the Technetics T2. But it did its job, and I was quite pleased with what we found, and I hope you were as well. So come and join me again. I'm going out Sunday to a bottle dig uh, through in Glasgow, so I hope you can join me for that early next week. And I'll have another video up probably before this one. So please subscribe over here or leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Come on, you can do it. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. It all helps. Subscriptions are just over 300. I'm really pleased with that. And everybody's been really nice with their comments. So thanks very much. Take care and I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye for now.